So today I'm going to show you guys how to make some homemade protein bars that are super, super yummy and you don't have to bake them. If you like peanut butter and you like dark chocolate and who doesn't, you are going to love these protein bars. Under 200 calories, 16 grams of protein, super easy. You are going to need some coconut oil. It's actually pretty cheap. This th big old thing was like six bucks at uh, my grocery store and it was right by all the other oils. So it's really not that much money and this big old thing is going to last you a long time. You're going to need some peanut butter. I am using Jif Creamy Omega 3 because it tastes the same as regular peanut butter but with the added benefits of Omega 3, the good, the kind that you want, the DHA and EPA. Some of them just have the AHA omega-3 and that's not really what you're looking for. Um, you're going to want anything with the DHA in it. You are going to need some oatmeal. I have the old-fashioned all-natural oats. You are going to need some flaxseed, either ground or whole. Um, my grocery store was out of the ground when I bought it, so I'm using whole. You're going to need dark chocolate. I am using Hershey's Special Dark. The darker you go, the healthier this is going to be. Um, I was planning on using something more than, what is this, 65%? Something like that. I was going to use the higher percentage, like the 80%, but I forgot to buy it last month at the grocery store. So I'm going to use these again. Uh, and of course you need protein powder, vanilla. I am using Body Fortress brand whey protein because it's cheap. It's like 16 bucks for this big old thing. Walmart or any other well-stocked grocery store will carry this. Uh, you need some aluminum foil. You need a banana, a bowl, measuring cups, a little thing to melt your chocolate in, and a masher or a fork. And you need a 9x9 pan. I know I'm missing my head, but whatever. I want you guys to see. <laughs> Alright, so you take your banana, unpeel it, of course, put it in your bowl, and mash it up. Now, if you don't like banana, you really don't have to worry about tasting it in the protein bar because it's very, very faint, if at all. You can taste it a little bit, but the peanut butter and chocolate kind of overpowers it. So you mash it up real good so it looks like baby food. And then take one and a half cups of oatmeal, put it in there. Four tablespoons of peanut butter. Okay, then you're gonna wanna take your coconut oil, take your microwave safe little thingy majigger, and Put two tablespoons of coconut oil in there. And you're going to want to microwave this for about 45 seconds so it's all melted. If you don't have coconut oil, um, you can try using olive oil. But the reason why the coconut oil is being used is because it solidifies. Um, as you can see, it's not like olive oil. Oh, can you see that? It's, it's you know, solid. So the reason why the coconut oil is being used is because it solidifies. And when you're not baking it, you, you need something solid to kind of... That's my son, he's got a cough. But anyway, you need something solid to, you know, hold everything together. So when you put it in the freezer, you know, it, it solidifies and holds it all together. So not really sure how good olive oil would work. Uh, you can try it. You could also use butter, but butter is, you know, this is a healthy thing and butter is not really all that healthy. So I would make the investment in the coconut oil. So you take your melted coconut oil and you put it back in, in the bowl with everything there. Then you take your flax seed and you put in two tablespoons. Great source of fiber, which is why it's going in there. You are going to want to use six, I said six scoops of protein powder. You also want to add four tablespoons or one fourth cup water. 
to this mixture. All right, and then you mix it up. So now we got everything all mixed together and it is gonna be sticky, all right? It's not gonna be like a regular dough. It's gonna be sticky. Take your pan, take your aluminum foil, Take your, your mixture, put it in your pan, spread it out so it fills up your pan. Okay, and then take your chocolate, put four tablespoons into your microwave safe bowl, and you're going to want to put this in the microwave for about a minute. All right, be careful when taking this out because it's going to be hot. And then you're just going to want to stir it up a little bit so all the chocolate gets melted up. And take your chocolate and pour it over the top. And then just spread it around the top. Once it freezes, this is also going to help keep everything stuck together. So once you got it looking like that, you're going to want to pop this into your freezer for about two hours. Um, at least two hours. If I usually leave it in overnight. When it's done, you're going to lift it out of the pan by taking the foil and lifting it out like this. Okay. <laughs> and then you're going to take a knife and just cut it into 12 equal bars. What I do is I'll cut it in half one way and then six ways this way. So this right here is the finished product. Once you're done cutting it into six bars, Individually wrap one in e each one into either aluminum foil or plastic wrap and store them in your freezer for a quick post-workout snack. Ta That's what it looks like when it's done and cut mm -hmm. off. Ooh, I love them up. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, these are super, super delicious. Like it beats any protein bar that I've ever bought and it's way cheaper. Nutritional content is 199 calories, 17 carbs, 9 grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, 2 grams of fiber, and 4 grams of sugar. Now you can cut down on some of that sugar if you get the higher percentage of the dark chocolate. <laughs> yeah, and um, I don't know, I think for 16 grams of protein under 200 calories, this is pretty awesome. All healthy ingredients, you guys really can't beat these. So go ahead, try them and tell me what you think. <laughs> Bye.